So today in the Feel Good Flow, we're going to work on opening up low back, hips, hamstrings, hip flexors, all the areas of the midsection of the body that tend to radiate pain upward and downward towards the feet. So we're going to start on the back today, which is going to be lovely. It's always a good place to start. So this is about getting grounded, really feeling yourself sinking into the floor, staying really deep so that way you can move through the rest of the week feeling pretty settled. So slowly and gently come down to your back. My feet are cold. It's cold here in Los Angeles. Come down to your back using your core support. Take your hands alongside body and with your feet on the ground just begin to breathe down deep into the belly. Let the breath press down into your hips. It expands into your sides, into your low back. And then you just let the breath out of the mouth, a nice ah sound. Take another deep breath in through your nose, inhale. And let it out, exhale. Let's take two more like this. In through your nose, really flare the nostrils. Exhale out through the mouth. One more breath. Inhale, down through the ribs, down through the sides, into the pelvis, and then exhale, let that breath melt you down into the ground. Just begin to slowly rock the knees gently side to side, feel the back of the sacrum beginning to massage into the floor. Find your breath deepening, inhaling through your nose, exhaling out through your mouth, Find a pace of breath that's comfortable for you for this practice. No right or wrong. You don't have to completely follow my cues for breathing. They're suggestive. Everybody's lung capacity is a little bit different. But breathe through the movements. As you move, breathe. As you move, exhale. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just begin to drop the knees over to the right. Now from here, I want you to stretch your arms nice and high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the arms, slide them out to the sides, bend the elbows so there's some softness, the shoulders can relax back. Take your gaze over to your left, feeling a stretch in the side of the neck, breathing in deep between your ribs and your hips. Just really loosening up, letting yourself ground and relax into the floor. Take one more deep breath here. As you exhale, slowly come back to center, rocking the knees, neutralizing, so windshield wiper in the knees. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and as you exhale, just begin to drop the knees over to the left. So reset this posture. Inhale the arms high, give a big, nice, long stretch. As you exhale, melt the arms down towards the floor, bend the elbows, taking your gaze over to the right. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Take another breath in through your nose. And a deep breath out. One more huge breath here. Bring it in through your nose and as you exhale, begin to bring the knees back to center. Walking the knees gently into the chest, clasping on top of the knees or behind the thighs, whatever feels good. Just begin to curl up into a ball. Inhale, exhale, curl. Inhale, relax down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, and exhale, curl. Beautiful. So leaving the hips at 90 degrees, knees at 90 degrees, just begin to trace the sacrum around in a circle. Massage your low back. Loosen up all the tight, stagnant energy that's stuck in that low back. Keeping the breath moving freely in and out of the body. Reverse now. Breathing in and out. Give the knees a little hug into the chest. Squeeze up in the ball. Breathe in. And as you exhale, place the feet back onto the ground. Right leg is going to... Extend up towards the ceiling, pull the toes back towards the shin. Again, you don't have to straighten the leg out all the way. You can keep a slight micro bend. What we're doing is just what I call flossing the hamstring. So you can grab lower on the thigh or more underneath the knee if you want a little extra stretch through the arms. 
Just begin to relax in the hip joint. Don't cling onto the hip flexor. Inhale, extend the leg, pull the toes back lightly. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale. Exhale, this is a really great one for sciatic issues. This stretches out the nerve. We call it flossing the nerve in the physical therapy world if you want to get technical. But just go to the edge of stretch, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. Extend the leg high, roll out the ankle, breathing in and out. You can keep the knees soft. So a few directions one way, then reverse the opposite way. Beautiful. Pointing and flexing that foot. So our lymph system works on passive transport. It's not like our blood, which is actively pumped around. So just doing ankle rolls with the leg lifted also begins to detox the lower limbs, helps to move all that lymph back into the body. Take a deep breath in, stretch high. Exhale, bring that knee into the chest, little light hug. Swirl that hip around in a circle. Give it little loop, circles, lubricate, hydrate. Motion is lotion. Good. Slowly place that leg down. Left leg's going to lift. Inhale. And let's flow through. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. And out. Keep the leg extended this time as you breathe in. Roll out the ankle any direction. No worries, no judgments. Beautiful. Slowly reverse. Keep the breath cycling in and out of the body. Pumping the ankle, pointing and flexing, working into that ankle joint. Pumping out the gnarl. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, hug that knee into the chest. Little mini circles or nice big circles. Lubricate, hydrate your hip joint on top of the knee if you need, or behind the thigh. No worries, no judgments. Try not to actively do it. Soften the hip flexor, soften the hip, and just use your hands to trace that thigh around. Motion is lotion, lubricate those hips. We all need more of it. Beautiful. Hug both knees into the chest now, curling up. Just begin to rock back and forth. Keep it soft. If you can't do that, no worries, no judgments. Just curl up into a ball to a light stretch. From here, we're going to rock and roll our way all the way up. Bam. So turn towards the front of your space. Nice little easy seat. Bring the hands on top of the knees, dive forward, inhale, exhale, deep breath in, exhale, take the arms high, breathe in, exhale, namaste. Hands are going to come alongside body. Right hand going up, deep breath in, ground down into your sitting bones, exhale, take a little side bend, bending back elbow, reaching the fingers towards the wall. Breathe here. Maybe you begin to swirl that arm around. You can take a little swirl. Inhale and exhale around. Breathing in. Exhale. This will work into your rib joints. This will help you to release any tension in your lats that run alongside the ribs. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale. Bring that hand down. Good. Left hand reaches high. Deep breath in. Exhale over to the left or right, whichever feels good. Whatever arm you're on doesn't have to be the same as mine. Stay here and breathe. Exhale it out. Dive it forward. Breathe in. Exhale around. Good. Keep it gooey and soft. Inhale. Nothing should be sharp or shooting. You're not stressing out the body to get into these postures. Where can you move through the areas of tension and tightness to loosen them up? Breathing in, use your breath, exhale out. One more round, deep breath in, and exhale, good. Come back up, breathe in, and shake it out. Let's take a little bit of Beyonce Asana. Hands on the knees, roll the chest forward, inhale, exhale, sweep the ribs around. So we're tracing the ribs around in a circle, inhaling, 
exhaling around any direction, doesn't matter. Exhale. The goal is, is just to feel your way through your body, staying grounded in your sitting bones, lubricating up your rib joints, your rib cage. Take it the opposite direction. Inhale forward. Exhale back around. Beautiful. Inhale forward. Exhale back around. Last one. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. And exhale. Good. So slowly come onto hands and knees. Grounding down into the palms, into the fingers. Hips stacked over, knee, over top of the knees. Just begin to shake the hips out side to side. Working into the side of the hip joints. Take a deep breath in. Press your hips over to the right. Exhale. Stay here. Breathe. Exhale out. Stay here and breathe. Exhale out. Take another deep breath in. And on your exhale, come back to center. Rock the hips. Back and forth. Back and forth. Taking another deep inhale in. Exhale. Press your hips over to the left. Staying here. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, relax into that hip. Stay here, breathe. Exhale. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale out. Come back to center, breathe in. And shake the hips out, exhale. Awesome, take your right arm out to the side. A big, huge breath in. We're gonna thread the needle, reach the arm underneath the left arm, sweeping through, dropping down to your shoulder. Relax onto the crown, taking that hand back behind you. Good. You can keep the hand down or take it back behind you. That opens up the shoulder. Maybe you roll that top shoulder around. This is about mobility. This is about being able to create space and movement so we don't feel so stuck or stagnant. Couple more breaths here. Bringing your left hand down to the ground. You're going to begin to rise, inhaling right arm out to the side, and glue that hand down to the ground. Left arm is going to do the same now. Inhale out to the side. Exhale, leave it underneath the right. Good. Hand can stay down or behind the back. Again, you can give it some shoulder rolls, maybe a little Tina Turner asana. <laughs> Roll it. Roll the shoulder out, really breathe, relax. Nothing sharp or shooting, no pinching in the shoulder. On your next breath in, root the hand down, take the rise, left arm coming out. Exhale it down. Good, just begin to sit back towards the heels, get a little heel stretch, little arch stretch, rocking the pelvis back and forth. So we just wanna work into the hips. We're gonna step that right leg forward. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, just come up to that knee. No worries, hands are on the hips. They can stay here. So we wanna zip and lift up into the torso. So we're giving a lift of the belly button towards the sternum, bringing the tail slightly downward but not shoving the hips forward. Taking a deep breath in, lift up high, so as tall as you can get. Exhale, just begin to glide the hips forward as you bend this front knee. If you find that your knee is creeping too far forward, toe heel your way. Feel that stretch in the front of the left hip flexor. From here, you can take a deep breath in, taking the left hand high, and then exhale, maybe just a little side bend to the right. Use that right thigh as leverage for balance. You should feel a nice stretch down your front midsection, down that thigh, all the way to the knee. Stay here and breathe. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring your left hand down to the ground. So from here, you can simply keep the right hand on the knee. Take a deep breath in. Take a little twist. Maybe you get a few little releases into the spine, a little pop, pop, pop. If you want a little bit more, come up into the lunge. Right hand can come high. If you need a block, feel free to grab a block that's there for you if you've got one. Good, come back down, take a deep breath in. Turn your toes to the right. We're gonna come up on that back foot, rotate to the side of the foot, and here you have a little stretch to the side of the hip. 
Good, you should feel a nice stretch here. If it's pulling on your knee, feel free to readjust. Toe heel your way down. That's gonna be a little more challenging, a little uh, strengthening to the side. Stay here, breathe, breathe, breathe. So taking static postures first, and then we're gonna flow them through. Good, let's unwind this. Pivot the toes back to face the mat, and step back, hands and knees. Walking all the way back, take a deep breath in, shake out the hips. Good, rocking back and forth, getting a little momentum. Take a deep breath in, step your left leg forward. Beautiful. Reposition, feel centered in the hips, zipping and lifting up, so we're pulling up and away from the floor. Taking a deep breath in, left hands on the thigh, right hand high, exhale over to your left side. Getting a nice stretch to the sides, up the front hip flexor. We're coming up and away from the floor and then sliding over. So we want space. We're always hoisting the bones away from the floor. Taking a deep breath in and out. Beautiful. Come all the way up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, come forward, right hand coming down, again, block. Take a deep breath in, exhale, rotate over to the left. Maybe you get a few releases to your back. Again, another option is full lunge, arm high, arm behind the back. You can take a bind here if you'd like. No worries, no judgments. I always like the path of least resistance, why not? Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, let's just begin to pivot the feet over to the right. Again, you can toe heel that foot down. It's there for you. We want to feel the stretch into the hips and down the leg, not pulling into the knee. Really squeeze that bottom thigh and press the outer foot into the floor. That's going to help create stability for you. Push down away from the floor. Don't camp into your joints and jam up the shoulder. Take another deep breath in and out. As you exhale, slowly unwind, pivoting on the foot, bring the knees down, and sit back. Beautiful. So let's flow that all through. So here's our flow. Feel good flow for today. Back it up, inhale. Right leg's gonna step forward, exhale. Lift the left hand high, zip and lift up, inhale. Exhale over to the right. Good. Inhale, bring the arm high. Exhale, bring the hand down to the floor. I'm gonna take the advanced version. You can stay right here, deep breath in. Exhale up. Good. Inhale, spin to the left. Exhale, bring that foot down. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, spin it back down. Step it back, inhale, and exhale back to your feet. Good, sit back, inhale. Left foot steps forward, exhale. Right hand goes high, deep breath in. Exhale over to the left. Bring the arm back high, inhale. Melt it down to the floor, exhale. Deep breath in. Up into the lunge, exhale. Spin it over, deep breath in, you can walk that foot over. Exhale out. Let's come back to center, inhale. Bring the hands and the knees down, exhale. Take a deep breath in. Sit back, exhale. Not so bad. So let's take that again. Drop back, so inhale, use the momentum, exhale right, left arm, inhale, exhale, side bend, inhale high, exhale, arm down, inhale, lunge, exhale, open it up. So I'm changing out the breath a little bit. Toe heel your way down, inhale. Exhale, third breath. Let's bring it back to the floor, pivot back, inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Breathe in. Left leg. Right arm, inhale. 
Exhale, bend. Inhale, high. Exhale, down. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, open. Move the foot, deep breath in. Exhale out. Pivot it back, breathe in. Exhale down. Blocking it down. Interlace the hands behind the back. Press the fist down towards your tail. Lifting chest high, so Care Bear Asana. Inhale the chest high. Exhale, bow forward. Maybe the fat head finds the ground. Lift the hands towards the ceiling. Breathe in. And out. One more. Breathe in. And release the arms. Hands come into the ground. Press high. Deep breath in. Come back to a comfortable seat. Settle back in. Ground down. Beautiful. So let's just take a few rounds of breath just to really settle us and bring us down and ground us. So I want you to dive forward with the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Namaste. Inhale. Forget your crappy boss. Exhale. Inhale. Forget your screaming kids. Nice. Inhale. Forgive the person who cut you off in traffic. Inhale. Forgive what I said before I had coffee. Inhale. And have thanks for this day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great Tuesday, a great rest of the day. Anytime you're feeling a little stressed or tight, breathe in nice and deep. Give your arms up high. Bring it down to namaste and just feel really centered and grounded in who you are. Thank you once again. The badass in me honors and recognizes the badass in you. Namaste! And if you didn't see my shirt, my good friend said, kind of classy, kind of hood. It's kind of accurate. <laughs>